Hey, 12 here uh, as uh, we welcome in America's Bouncer, Big Wyatt. How are you, buddy? Good, man. How are you? Good. Yeah, it's hard to keep in uh, touch with you, or not in touch with you, but up to date with you because you're just like working, you're filming, you're all over the place. Uh, last we saw you a couple days ago on uh, Facebook, you were in Buffalo. Yes. Yeah. Filming the movie that you were telling us a little bit about last time you were here. The TV show um, Diary of a Lunatic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, playing the role of Beast. We did a couple hours of makeup, yeah. a couple hours of hair, and uh, it was pretty cool, man. And like I said in the post I put up, I never thought that I would, you know, you know, the Beast is ready after his mm-hmm. makeup. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just kind of, it's just kind of weird. Wow. Yeah, but, Did you had you seen like a uh, like a like a mock up or a drawing of what they were going to put no on idea. you? Oh, really? You mm. just sat in the chair and said, chair "All right, yep. we'll come and get you in two hours, and yep. then we're filming." Yep. That was it. Were that was you it. were you wow. looking in a mirror the whole time she was doing your makeup, or did you? you just no, looked? actually, I was just looking out a window. Yeah, it's actually kind of relaxing when yeah. they're doing that stuff to you. Like I almost yeah. fell asleep. Yeah, really? A couple times in the chair. Yeah. Well, yeah. for that two hours, because I guess mentally you know. You have nothing else to do because you can't. Right. Yeah, you're stuck. Maybe it is relaxing. It is. Way. So you know what? There's nothing on my mind right it's, now. It's, it's, I don't have to be anywhere. It's very relaxing. Uh, I mean, first of all, we did. Uh, we finished under under the mercy here in Syracuse, which uh, was a great experience. It was a small independent film made locally, um, but um, the actor Joe Cunningham, and he was, he's also a director of it, producer, writer of uh, the movie. Seeing this guy's method acting. Yeah, was yeah. one of the best things that I've ever seen. Really, you know, like um, in what way? Like uh, what? He, uh, yeah, I don't know if he wants me to you know, put any his, his secrets out there, but he was on his on the set, and he had to play a drug addict. Uh-huh. He was on the set uh, sniffing powdered milk and taking shots of vodka to get into character. <laughs> now, is this necessarily going to be good for his body? He didn't care. Yeah, he's like, he, he, he was that passionate about it. He wanted to get into character so bad that that's what he did to do it. Wow. Mm-hmm. And that was pretty dope. Like, you know, to <laughs> see, just to see, you what, know, like. Was it, and uh, we, we did great. It was like a home invasion scene, and yeah. we messed up his house, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, we did. as the beast, uh, do you have lines? I do, yeah. Do you know, do you remember, top of your head, do you remember a couple of the, like, the key lines yeah, for your character? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, there wasn't many of them, but I had some lines. Yeah. Can you say, uh, at the end of the movie, is the beast still around? The beast is still around. Yeah, yeah. buddy. There's yeah. a sequel then. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope so, man. We hope, hope to do more episodes. That'd be great. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. Talking about uh, Big White here, America's bouncer with that uh, Gomez and Lisa, and uh, going back to the other guy, is that what they use for cocaine in movies? Powdered milk? Well, supposedly in uh, Scarface, they used uh, powdered milk. That's and, what it was. Uh, yeah. I, I was like, they told me about that. I was like, yo, that was in the eighties, man. And I was like, that, that was, was real. real. <laughs> I was like, in the eighties, you'd walk into bars in Syracuse and there'd be mountains of coke that high, and you'd be like, hey, man, you know. Come chill, you know, Club 37 days and stuff like that. But Wow. I've only heard, I, I wasn't here. I only no, heard no. about that. Yeah. You weren't yes. even born. Goodness. No, I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't. You're right. You're right. I used to go to that place, too, but I never yeah. was I was never invited to that particular party. No, not that party. Talking about. No, yeah. <laughs> I was don't, in the don't party. Don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs> no, no. There was a guy, a bouncer there, a Bigfoot, legendary. Bigfoot, yeah, absolutely. Bouncer of absolute the time legend. in the area. So you know the yeah. legend of Bigfoot. Of the, course I do. That guy, <laughs> he, was, he, was the, he was the bouncer there. Yeah. Um, actually, growing up, my buddy uh, Joe Grabowski, he's, he's one of my uh, weightlifting partners. If he's listening right now, shout out to him. Uh, he's one of my coaches as well. He's, you know, he gives me lift offs at all these yep. meets. He gives me lift offs, you know, three times a week. You know, uh-huh. where we go bench at the gym, and uh, you know, he would tell me these stories when I was like 15 years old about Bigfoot, about like Greg Buck. Oh about yeah, these old school bouncers. That, sure. And it kind of was like, you know, I want to be one of those dudes. Yeah. And it's like I did it, but better. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I, I, I became that. Sure. And when, once I became that, I was like. All right. Okay. What's Let's next? do something else. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is you're, you're the you know I'm doing air quotes in the yeah. so I'm not sounding cocky. You're the king of the bouncing world yep. here in Syracuse. <laughs> let's let's yeah. conquer some other stuff. There you, you go. Know, it's speak, like a good lesson in life. Yeah, you sp- accomplish it, get to the next level. Right. Speaking of him too, and we went to we did a powerlifting meet in Albany uh-huh. since I saw you. Uh, USA powerlifting was actually the first time I ever took second place. No. Yeah. Um, mm. This conversation it, is through. 
And, uh, what happened? It's just some guy that uh, so didn't this, have it that day, right? Well, you know, I, I did. A, I, I played a conservative a little bit. I wanted yeah. to redeem myself for my last meet where yep. mm-hmm. I missed a weight that I shouldn't have missed. Yep. You know, and I actually ended up, I went three for three on my lifts, uh, but he just did, you know, yeah. 20 pounds heavier than me. And he wow. got the hats off. He won, you know. I mean, it, it, Provides it's motivation for the next time. Now, I mean, everyone there was like, yeah, why? You had way more in you, but. You know, whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was it's his just how day. It worked out. And, and you, you, you pick your weights. Yep. Once you pick them, you can't pick other weights. So. Oh, that's how it works. Yeah. Ah, okay. So but, could you have done the weight that won? Yeah, I mean, he did five. He did five oh one. Um, in training, I went up to five hundred on this training cycle, and I mean, I shot a video of it. It's up on uh, on Facebook, Instagram, all that yeah. stuff, and it went up like butter. So mm-hmm. I mean, I could have. I probably could have done like a five ten. But yeah, that's um, it's kind of a guessing game. Then so it's, that's, it's it a mental victory. I mean, when you're competing, it's like yeah. you're like a chess game or right. poker. You're playing the guy across from you. Right. right? This you sounds. Like, I wasn't invested yeah. in a an actual competition bench, which I, I haven't been working out uh-huh. on a regulation bench. And people can say, "Oh well, you know that's nonsense. It doesn't matter what you lift on." And I was one of those guys. Yeah. It doesn't matter mm-hmm. what you lift on, but it is an adjustment of you know what you're working out on, and then uh-huh. when you get to the meet. It's totally mm-hmm. different. You're like, oh, holy crap. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's different. Yeah. I was yeah. going to ask you if you were ready. I was going to say something else, but I can tell you're not ready. You're too busy talking about me being a dumbbell. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, now. Wait, bring, bring it on. Listen, bring just, it. just because I can pick up your whole family <laughs> and fight them all at the same time well, you know, you know, doesn't mean you have to pick on me, man. We're actually uh, wondering that. We'll take a break here in a moment, uh, Wyatt, but uh, Sam the Barber, our intern who's going back, this is probably the last time we see him because he's only here for another week and a half, is about 138 and a half pounds. Okay. Is there a way that you could curl him? Because obviously 138 pounds you can probably with barbells – yeah. Do but I mean, because I mean, it's I a it's a kid. human body. I don't know. Yeah. Like, what if he curls, up, one, yeah. the, if he curls like, up in a ball? Curl or? him. Yeah, I can curl him. You can. Yeah. All right. There's our video for today. We're gonna make that. How's okay. that sound? <laughs> It sounds good. I hope we don't, uh, you know, bump his head into anything. That's right. He's, 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 he's ready for it. We'll find a clear spot. We'll find his dad was actually spot. happy about it. His, da- his dad commented on it. Said, "I wish you could come and do that all the time." I mean, there's more bumps on his head. That was a great video demonstration of how you get people out of the out of the clubs. Yeah, and now we're going to cool. demonstrate how I curl people. All right, we're going to do that here uh, on the air and on video coming up in a few minutes. Also, again, uh, we still have the tickets for Friday nights. TBT, it's the Bayheims Army Basketball Tournament. Again, it's the uh, SU player math. What three players, Lisa, are we adding up their SU jersey numbers for? Hakeem Warwick, yep. Eric Devendorf, right. Michael Binache. All right, so uh, if you follow SU basketball, those are the jerseys they wore when they played for Coach Bayheim. Add up those numbers, text that response into us here at the 605 8874. We'll pick winners by the end of the show. But uh, straight ahead here, Big Wyatt will curl, formerly Fat Sam the Barber. For demonstration purposes only. And we'll do that coming up <laughs> next year. <laughs> so I didn't realize that's how that worked. Like you kind of pick your. Yeah. There's, there's a couple of.